This is Lee Veltkamp from TheValueGeek.com. Today I'm going to review Mint. So stay and listen to hear about the free online tool that can manage your bank accounts, credit cards, mortgages, and retirement accounts automatically all in one place. The beauty of Mint is that you can manage all your finances in one central location. For this demonstration, I'm using a demo account provided by Mint.com. You can play around with Mint.com with this demo account use, using the link found below. On the left hand side, you have all your different financial accounts split up into different categories. This is where you type in your bank or credit card or loan information and Mint will automatically update all these accounts for you every single day so that you can track your expenses and income. The top section on the overview page is alerts. I will show you how to change your alerts that you want at the end of this video. Um, here you can get alerts if you're over budgeted or if you're low money on a certain account or anything that you desire pretty much. In the overview section you can jump down and look at an overview of your budget, your goals, your investments and some ideas that Mint will give you on ways to save money. Next we will look at the transaction section. In the upper right hand corner you have the type of transactions you want to look at. Uh, these transactions are automatically uploaded to Mint from your accounts and they are automatically categorized. If you click on it you can change the description and change the category to whatever category you want. You can add or edit your own categories as well. Sometimes it doesn't get the category exactly right automatically. Let's look at Shell. Um, let's say it wasn't a gas purchase but it was actually a parts purchase so you can go in and change the category yourself. Lastly, let's say if you're paying cash, you can add your own transaction because if it won't automatically show up, it's pretty simple. You just fill in all the information as they lay it out for you. Next, we'll go to budgets. We are now in the budget section of Mint. This is what makes Mint the best free money management tool out there. And now here are the categories. You can see that they've already set up in this demo account. To add another thing to your budget, you create, create a new budget. Once you click this, you simply fill out the information that... Um, it asks you to fill out. It's pretty straightforward and easy. You can also edit your budget categories from this screen by clicking these buttons and um, as you go out through the month the color will change and it will update your progress on your budget. Very cool visually and now we will go to the goal section. Now in the goal section um, let's go to make a goal to pay off all our credit card debt. Since Mint has your financial information and your credit cards linked it already knows how much debt you have so it pulls it up. You click the ones you want to pay off and then you click next. Now you enter in the details on your credit cards, the interest rates on each one, and the minimum monthly payment on each one. Then click next to go into the next step. And on this step, you adjust your plan of monthly payment to pay off this debt. And as you adjust it, it starts it off at your minimum monthly payment. It will show you how much money you will save in interest by s putting more money towards your credit card each month. Pretty cool tool. And a little congratulations for starting this goal. Share it with your friends. Give you a better chance. And here it will keep track of how well you're doing on your goal. Next we will look at trends. Here in trends you can see how much you spent compared to others that use Mint. And so it gives you a good barometer if you're uh, spending too much or if you could even spend less in a certain category and it also tracks your categories over the years and so the more you use Mint you can see how you spend as time progresses and do some reflection on that. And now going to investments, Mint really isn't the best tool for your investments or anything really. It'll track how well they're doing and it'll give you some recommendations and places where you can invest money. Uh, this is partly how Mint makes money. It is a f Mint is free but they advertise for things like this. Mint also makes money by recommending different companies on ways to save and so maybe a better credit card you could be using or a better bank account or a cheaper brokerage or a more efficient IRA or cheaper car insurance. Anything of that sort you can type in your current information and Mint will gather information from others and say hey you could be saving this much money. It's a nice tool and I, it's totally you use it if you want and you don't use it. So it is not invasive at all, a reason why I love Mint. Another tool I like about Mint is that you can set alerts for pretty much anything you want, whether that's a bill coming up in three days, or a low balance on something, or a bank fee, or really anything. Going over budget, you can set an alert for it, so it keeps you accountable in your financial situations. 
One thing that makes Spin so great is that you get to store all your financial information in one place, but this also scares people from a security expect perspective, but I can guarantee you that Mint is very secure. Um, some reasons for this is that Mint, you can't actually do any financial things on here. It's only you can read your financial statements. So, so if somebody got in onto Mint, it's not like they could steal your money. They couldn't know what you do financially. Um, uh, second one is that your actual information is not stored on servers. Tough to explain, but you can uh, trust them. Lastly is that uh, Mint is backed by Intuit. They're the creators of Quicken, QuickBooks, so it's a very, very good company. Very trustworthy. To close it up, I would recommend Mint 100%. They make your finances simple. It is great, great, great for bu budgeting. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Links to sign up for Mint or check out the demo site are below. Also, links to my website for more financial know-how will also be put below. Please just subscribe to my channel or sign up to my email list on my website. This is Lee Veltkamp from The Value Geek. Have a fantastic day and see you soon.